all the documentary news after that at first because it started with the violence, the elections, the political influencers, the changes inside of Germany. But of course, at some point, the news was done. I got to know everything about the country. All so right. I was like 12, 4. I had watched this video because I like uh, I like some videos by Don't Trust the Rabbit, and I'll explain to people who don't usually <clears throat> watch my channel and Don't Trust the Rabbit. Um, there's a reason why I obscure my well, there's a couple reasons that I obscure my face and only appear in certain lighting. But um, <clears throat> um, one of it has to, one major reason has to do with a very, very, very violent car crash. Um, but about how does learning about Germany's past feel to Germans? Kind of shocked at the fact that you said that they learn about it in the age of high school. Um, and then you mentioned the Holocaust. Uh, and this is to all Germans out there. Um, wondering you know americans they call them nazis or whatever um i'm not too far off in age i believe from don't trust the rabbit about 30 right i'm guessing um so every single person i knew um in every year of school from kindergarten, first grade, second grade, third grade, fourth grade, all the way up to high school. Every single one, every single grandfather fought in World War II. Every single one. Um, I knew people, well, I'd seen people where they had, you know, half a leg or were scarred or something like that. Um, and uh my grandfather died well both of them died before i was born but one of them um hated the germans to the day he died he hated them now you could imagine what it would be like for an entire generation the baby boomers basically why why were the baby boomers so crazy and radical and why did the 60s happen because they were raised by a generation of people who were who had ptsd before it was recognized and in turn those people were raised by a generation of people who had ptsd shell shock and all that because world war one and as we go back in time even the Hessians were brought over. To, I mean, Germany was a manufacturer of war. I'm not saying this to insult Germans, but it's just how it is. Um, and it wasn't just the Jews that were killed in the Holocaust. It was gypsies, Poles, Catholics actually were rounded up. Catholic, but were, I mean, I don't know if it was Leipzig or Mauthausen. I think it was Mauthausen. That was um, exclusively for like the clergy. Um, and national socialism existed in many countries, but it it really only became aggressive in, I mean, Italy, you could argue that Italy was just doing the same thing as, as Britain and France were doing, you know, take, and, and Germany taking parts of, you know, Africa, you know, which, you know, but it was Germany where it got extremely aggressive. Um, and I, I would always hear from everybody's parents when I was little, yep, every, you know, you're going to have to fight a war with the Germans too, because every, you know, 50 years, you just got to slap them down again. And when I was young, East Germany was still around and East Germany was like, there was, that was, that's where everything was going to kick off was be at the Berlin wall. And then because the communists and like the most communist place in the world was like east germany um that's where all the pop propaganda got pushed and then um you know everybody breathed a sigh of relief when the when the berlin wall fell and then it, we find out everybody hates the americans you know when you're a little kid you think oh okay you know whatever you know yeah oh wow america liberated all these places 
when we invaded them, we gave them back. We gave France back to the French. You know, it was the Allied powers. Basically, it was basically only the Anglophone world. I mean, the French had VC Fr Vichy France, and there, there was really no... I mean, they tried to... The myth of the resistance. I mean, they even tried to say that the French liberated the world. No, they didn't. It was basically the English and the Americans. Um, and at great, 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 heavy, heavy cost. Um, so it's kind of shocking the fact that Germany tries to shut up about it. Um, it struck me, and <laughs> I know it's not the individual Germans' fault, it's not Don't Trust the Rabbit's fault, but it it seems offensive. Because everybody, I mean, everybody, you couldn't, if you were to say, why, who is Hitler? If you were in this, you know, like the sixth grade, I don't know who, or, or fifth grade, well, who is Hitler? People would, other children would get angry at you or be like, don't joke about that. Like you knew, everybody knew. Um... That actually was, I mean, it was Germany, World War One, World War Two, is the reason why America is so militarized. And also the fact that um, we had the Cold War then, right after that. Which, if it weren't for World War One, we wouldn't have had the Soviet Union. So, again, I'm not blaming any individual Germans, but also um the culture that seems very cold to us americans you know people try to say, oh it seems superficial people smiling and leaving the culture of tipping and we also have a huge culture of charity i mean because america gives out more charity than any country in the world and why are you so religious with donation charity and um, being helpful to people and being um you know, being responsible for your fellow man is really ingrained in us, that kind of Christian ideal, you know, of like, uh, yeah, helping your fellow man. And then we see um, the Germanic countries or the Nordic countries where everybody's isolated and individualistic, but they still rely on the state. They don't have the individual, they don't have the idea of individualism that Americans do of like, why? Well, Owning a gun because it's for my own protection. I'm not expecting, like I call the police, they might get here in time or they might get here and it might be, they might be, you know, doing pathology on my body. So it's up to me. But also the fact that I have to help my neighbor out. It's not the reliance on the state. And we look at modern day Germany and its reliance on the state and they're also an increasing tide of violence, but they can't, because of their past, They, I think they, Americans feel that we, they learned the wrong lesson from their past, that it, it's not national pride. I mean, Hitler did a lot to destroy Germans, Germany's um, ancient, or Germany's cultural past. He did a lot, he, I mean, it was his enemy. He wanted to craft Germany in his view. He didn't like Charlemagne. In like the uh, the ancient uh, pagan, right, the Thule society, and all this kind of stuff, and all the uh, uh, Odin and Thor, and he um, he had them invent positive Christianity where Christ wasn't compassionate, and there was he wasn't a Jew, and it was basically paganism painted with a Christian veneer, you know. He liked the cathedrals. He just didn't like the words being read in those cathedrals. Um, so it's it, the fact that you can't have a swastika or a German flag. You, I mean, Germany, I don't know if it's because of shame or because it's they want to forget, you know, because there's always that motto here, never again. But you can't say never again, and then you bar the swastika, you bar the Iron Cross, you bar the eagle, and then 
you have to learn about it at an age when you're a teenager and you don't care about learning about things. Um, and then especially Germany gives so much money to Israel. It says, oh yeah, the Holocaust was bad, right? The, the killing of the gypsies and the Poles and the Jews and confiscation of land, that's, that's wrong. Okay, Israel, modern nationalistic state founded on socialist principles. Remember those two words who are then taking and occupying Arab land. Um, something doesn't seem right here. <clears throat> but to the individual German, um, it seems like this fun thing whenever I see an English YouTuber that's German, five weird things about America or stupid things that Americans do. Um, <coughs> well, thank you for fighting alongside the British. And this is to the German system, not to Germans. Um, against the colonists for pay, mercenaries, literally, um, sending money to the Confederacy, kicking off World War I, which started the Bolsheviks, um, then World War II, causing generation, I mean, damaging generations of people, um, and making the military so paranoid that we invaded a Southeast Asian country and my my parents generation had came back with massive ptsd and then uh, um so we have this psychotic war machine that we have to thank for keeping us safe from getting us getting overrun by you know nazis and communists and stuff like that and then getting bombed out of the blue and then um now my generation and my friends many of them are dead or crazy because of the war. Um, America became a superpower, not necessarily because we wanted to, but because we had enough land to grow enough food and to extract enough metals out of the ground that we were able to aid other countries who we shouldn't have ever gone to war with. The only reason we got into World War II was because we got bombed by Germany's ally, the Japanese, who committed some of the worst war crimes that have ever existed on the planet. And also Germany did as well. And Japan is bad in another, is, is almost worse than Germany because it tends to lionize its past. And China and the China, the Philippines, and the United States has, have a real problem with that. So with Germany, it's like, okay, no, you, I, I mean, it's the swastika didn't do anything. It was the people marching behind the swastika that did those things. It was not the eagle that did anything. It was not the iron cross that did anything. But yet you have to hide these things. And you don't get down to brass tacks of, you know, or just like, oh, is Germany oppressing the Jews? Well, no, that wasn't one, that was one part of it, one small, small part of it. It was also the center of freedom, free ideas, the free market. And also, it's not just nationalism, it's also that socialist part of it, right? And again, national socialism, you can have national socialism that isn't imperialistic. Because National Socialism by itself is not imperialistic. There was something else about why it didn't happen in Spain like that. In Italy, it wasn't so aggressive. And there were even Jews in the fascist party in Italy. The Central America or South American countries that were fascistic didn't become imperialistic. Why did it happen in Germany? Well, Germany was the one that glorified war. And that doesn't come from nowhere. That comes from, I mean, 
there needs to be a cultural shift. Just like with Japan, they still have, if you look at the obedience thing and not questioning authority, that's still very much in Japan. And that's what caused the kamikaze and the, the, um, the, I mean, the belief of there's Japanese and then there's outsiders. And that's what caused the, just the, the genocide in the Philippines and in China, the rape of Nanking, the Bataan Death March, and all these other things. Um, wiping out whole cultures of people, um, you know, ethnically cleansing things. And with Germany, it seems like they just say, oh, well, we won't speak about it again. We're sorry. And then it's over. And it's like, what? And then, then in almost as a reaction, they want to get to a, an individual American's face and say, you, because, you know, it's like, um, <clears throat> it does really shock people. People who come from the United States that uh, Germans and Europeans especially, but it seems mostly Germans. Oh, that's so weird about Americans. Um, but the funny thing is, is that the Nazis who were committing war crimes in the field, who were invading countries, these you could say, oh, they were just soldiers. They knew they were invading countries that didn't want to be occupied by the Nazis. I mean, there was what Belgium, Denmark, Sweden. Uh, they tried to invade. You no, know, Finland had that with the Soviet. They kind of had a pact with them. But um, France, although half of France became fascist. And, and all these countries, Hungary, go through it. Austria, everywhere. Although there was annexation of part of Czechoslovakia and I think Austria as well. Not sure in that part. Poland, right? That's what kicked off the whole war. That's what got everybody into the wars, you know, Polish sovereignty. And then to say. And then the fact that uh, individualistically, um, like, those people had children, right, who are your parents, or possibly by now your grandparents, and then they had children. So these people are the people who lived. These are the Nazis, the camp guards, the, the soldiers who shot Americans and British trying to liberate land that Germany stole, murdered, and raped. And you're the descendants of those people and that's what we i mean that's that's just the thought process again i'm not saying like oh you're sinful for being alive but the fact that there's no there's no recognition of that there is no guilt in the german today you know um oh let's never we we committed mass genocide and horrid war crimes here's what we'll do We'll donate a lot of money to a country, to Israel, who is occupying others' land, and then we'll shut up about it. And then our kids are going to mock America. And that's what it seems like. So I'm try not trying to be hostile to Germans, but I just want to say that that's, that is immensely shocking that the Germans broke so many generations of Americans. Watch Hacksaw Ridge to see how broken it is. Um, that, uh, no, hey, uh, thank you for liberating. To, we are indebted to your grandparents for liberating the entire continent of Europe. No, it's a hey, fuck you, Americans. You're so weird. Why do you have such big portions? And why do you have to tip? 
And why 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 doesn't why is the tax not included? Like Okay, um never heard a German say, you know what, we're indebted to the um the Americans and the the Britons. But especially the Americans because Britain was on the brink um when uh Pearl Harbor hit. So thanks for, you know, thank you that that is that your your grandparents generation was the greatest generation and made one of the biggest sacrifices ever. And their parents who had to fight in World War 1 made the same sacrifice. And then after World War 1 or World War 2, America had to steal itself and gear up for potentially another great war. And right when we breathed the sigh of relief between 1988 or 1989 and 1991, when you had the collapse and everyone went, Whew. then um, it seemed like Germany and the rest of Europe went, fuck you, America. Why are you so aggressive? And even the French went, and this was at a time when the French in the 90s were aiding the Hutu in their in their own genocide, and it it just seems seems odd um, to us. So that that I guess is a response. I really like Don't Trust the Rabbits channel, and there are many German YouTubers on here that I like, and I've met Germans and individually, and they've been nice people. Um, I've attended a church where there was a German girl that was married to an American. Um, so I, I think it's against the German. What I'm saying is something does not seem right with the German system and the German attitude. It, there is a there is a thing of, oh, we don't want to we don't want to talk about the war. Ever. We never want to recognize it. We'll just say sorry, and we don't know what that means, and bye. So, and I think many Americans, well, I know many Americans feel this way, but then they're kind of like, well, I can't blame that person, you know, because there's, but, oh, yeah, I love my grandparent. The one that committed genocide, you mean? Like, we don't say that, but, I mean, many think that like wait a minute the people who survived they didn't resist the nazis if they didn't commit war crimes they supported the nazis they didn't resist if you resisted you were put in the camps or many times you were just marched outside a town and shot so it's kind of creepy that the americans and the british from a young age are taught way more about germany's history recent history than the german is it's almost like the you're, the germans are not allowed to be taught about um world war ii what happened before it and during it all right peace to you